What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Jesse Rodriguez versus Siskaret Sorung Visai. What do we think of this fight? I think we first have to start this video by saying, look, Bam took a dangerous fight by fighting Rung Visai, right? Because the man has a 77% knockout ratio. So we have to give him credit there because he could have took an easier fight, especially in his hometown. He could have took an easier fight, but he wanted to test his skills. He wanted to test himself against a credible fighter in Sor Rung Visai, who is a warrior. We first have to say that. I thought the first round, Bam, did exactly what he needed to do against the puncher in this fight, right? He was patient. He was fighting from a distance and he countered the puncher and landed some great shots of his own great combination. This whole fight to me, Bam just looked a step ahead of Rung Visai in every single category, right? He, Rung Visai couldn't close the gap because Bam was throwing that jab so well. Right. Whenever Rung Visai did feel like he was getting closer and he felt like he was closing the gap, Bam was changing angles. He was throwing out of the angle changes. He was throwing coming into the angle changes. Or if he got too close, too close to the ropes, he would wrap up like a veteran would and get himself out of danger. It was a beautiful performance. If you like the science of boxing, how can you not like Bam? Rodriguez, like, how could you not like him? He does so many things that may not seem like it's a big deal, right? But the subtle fixes that he makes makes him such an exciting and beautiful fighter to watch. As I said, I just thought he was just a step ahead of Rung Visai. Even though Bam was winning this fight from the jump, right? You still had to be a little bit wary because Rung Visai... 77% knockout ratio. You know, he still had that eraser in both hands. All he needed was one good shot. But what was interesting about this fight was when he was pressing forward, or when, when Rung Visai was pressing forward, trying to land his shots, he was getting countered. And every time he was getting countered, it disrupted his plan and what he wanted to do. He couldn't get a clear shot at Bam because whenever he was changing angles and using his speed and his agility, something was coming at Rung Visai, regardless of wherever he went. And while Bam was not the bigger puncher, he was the more busier puncher. He was the volume puncher. And while you don't have to be a bigger puncher, if you outwork your opponent with constant shots and shots and shots and shots, eventually you will chop them down. And we saw when Rung Visai went, went down the first time. And then we saw how the fight stopped. It was just constant volume over and over and over and over again. And the fact that Rung Visai didn't know how to close the gap against Bam. And I think that was a good testament of Bam's discipline because he respected Rung Visai. If he would have tried to stay right inside the pocket where Rung Visai didn't have to use a lot of movement, it would have been a much different fight. But Bam stuck to his game plan. He stuck to what his team wanted him to do when he fought such a beautiful fight. This was better than his last performance, right? Even though we know he could fight in the pocket, but this one, we knew he had to be disciplined. Otherwise, it would have been a much different fight. My hat goes off to Bam Rodriguez. I thought he showed his full offensive and defensive repertoire in this fight because, yeah, he was very good offensively, but look at the shots that was happening defensively, how well he was moving his head, how well he was covering up. Overall, it was just a great performance. This guy is a problem. Whatever division that he's in, this guy is a problem. I don't know who he's going to fight next, but hear me out. Hear me out. Maybe a couple years down the road. What do you think about Bam Rodriguez stepping in the ring with Naoya Inoue? What do you think about that fight? I'm just throwing it out there. It would be interesting fight, right? But let me know your thoughts about this fight. How did it go for you? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you've been watching this long, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, and we'll definitely see you next time.